hi and welcome to Scott's Inverts. I'm Scott, these are the Inverts. Today we have literally just got back from going to two shows in one day. We went to the entomological show in Newark to start with and then after that, come about half past 12, we went, then went over to the Donington Reptile Show, the IHS. I'm going to show you the video footage. The video footage is from the Newark Entomological Show. You cannot film at the actual IHS um, Donny Show. Um, and I, I, I know people do and they do it sneakily, but I weren't prepared to possibly get banned from that show. Um, in fact, the thumbnail is credit to Tony Webb over at Venomous Visions. He took that of the crowd. Um, I'll put a picture of that up right now. Um, but that's down to Tony. So thank you so, so much for Tony. You could take pictures. My phone was dead, so I didn't. Remember to stick around to the end of this video. And we'll show you exactly what we got from the entomological show and exactly what we got from the Donington Reptile Show. It's been such an amazing day. A massive, massive thank you to channel member Chris for giving us a lift to both the shows. Thank you so much, mate. Really, really appreciate it. I'm still buzzing from today. It has been such an epic, epic day. The Donny Show, that's the first time I've been to a reptile show. I met so many new people, made so many new friends. It's been absolutely incredible. If you've never been to that show, I highly recommend it. Um, there's all sorts of different reptiles there as well as in, inverts and amphibians. Anyway, um, I could waffle on about these shows all day long. So let's get in to today's video. <laughs> Thank you. 
So this is the bag of goodies that we got from the entomological show in Newark. Firstly, we actually went to see the Tracy Tarantulas uh, guys. They're doing like a tarantula app where you can store all the information or your live feeds or the malt and everything onto this app. It's actually free. Um, you can also upload your own photographs to it and all the rest of it. Definitely worth checking that out. I've done it. I haven't started using it 100% yet just due to the size of the collection. But first up, we went and seen Steve and we bought a La Cosa Hispanica. A little true spider just there. It's going to be absolutely awesome watching this one grow up. And then we also went and got a Thrixopalma Pyrenees. Dead cheap. You don't see these in the hobby very often. And when these come up at a tenner, I was like, oh, we're, we're definitely going to get one of those. And um, we also got this guy. And a Norfacius a species, a Cebu from so many legs. I doubt if we're going to see this because this is burrowing. That is pretty much <laughs> how it's going to spend most of its life is down in a burrow. Um, but they are a beautiful, beautiful spider. Now, fear not, we did get a terrestrial species from there as well. So we have got something that's going to be out on display. Tarantula room. We got a Formictopus auratus. Uh, I'll take the lid off this one. Just look at that little guy down there. That's going to grow up to be a gold wonder and look absolutely stunning. Now, the final thing that we got from the entomological show from the bedroom breeder was a Balfouri for 20 quid. But look at the size of that Balfouri. Um, oh, I'll risk taking the lid off just for you guys. But what an absolute beautiful spider. For 20 quid, I couldn't say no. He actually had several on. I did think about, I think he had about four or five at that price. So I did, I did think, should we just spend all the money there and then and get like, you know four or five but 20 quid absolute bargain now from the Donington reptile show we went over to the mantis den and we bought this bad boy so we've got substrate in here uh, we've got the mantis den enclosure and we've also got the mantis now these mantis by themselves are 15 quid so you almost get, the, well, you kind of get the Mantis for free when you're buying this setup. Um, this Thursday, we are going to set this up. So check out and look out for that video. But we did get some interesting stuff today. You're going to hear the bag creasing around now. Um, I'll show you the extra special thing in just one second. What we got... Some true spiders, some huntsmen, different types. We've got three different types here. And I'll show you what they are in just one sec. So we got the Malaysian giant huntsman, the kosher. I can't pronounce the genus, I do apologise, but it's written just there. And it is just there, look. Absolute stunner. That one is literally going to grow rather big. But this enclosure here will be completely fine um, for, a, oh God, about another three or four molts. But on top of that one, we also got the Heteropoda Javna, the Orange Huntsman. That's probably going to be around in there somewhere oh there there it is look at that one these huntsmen are something else absolutely beautiful um if you put enough foliage enough curry, curry cover in your enclosure they don't tend to be too bolty they tend to hide behind the um the foliage 
Um, that's just a little tip for you guys if, you, if you're worried about keeping them with them being so quick. The final Huntsman was a Cameroon crab star, a spider, the Berylistus scutatus, which is there and absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at the size of her or him for, for 12 quid. Absolutely beautiful. Try and see if we can't see through. These Huntsmen, by the way, were all from the spider shop, so all from Lee over there at the spider shop. Um, had a little chat with him. He's not long come back from Madagascar. Um, went over there with Martin Lees and his son. Um, some epic pictures. Um, we then went on to see Tony Webb at Venomous Visions. And I'm going to have to message him and, and get the scientific name for these. They're just marked up as large predatory beetles, if I remember right. But just look at those. These are predatory beetles on steroids. <laughs> I mean, these guys are like literally twice the size of the Egyptian predatory beetles. Um, I doubt very much if these will breed or, or whatever, or even um, if they do breed, I doubt very much we'll be able to pupate the larvae uh, to full term. There's just not much information out there on these. So these guys are going to be with us. They're absolutely awesome. I'll probably get some um, TikTok videos out on those guys, feeding and what have you. So remember to check out the TikTok. Now, our last creature that we got from the show is not an invert. Um, this is an absolute beauty. This is a giant Mexican leaf frog, Pashime Medusa uh, Danny Cola. But just look at him or her. How beautiful is that? It's <laughs> giving a high five. Boom! <laughs> Can't believe it just high fived frog. <laughs> but just look how gorgeous. Bit of information on the back. Temperature 22 to 28 and UVB at UV six uh, percent. Just look at him or her. Tara, the enemy, is absolutely fell in love with this guy. Um, she did want me to originally get a mossy pied frog, but I couldn't find any there whatsoever. And in fact, the guy who was uh, selling these had got the red eyed tree frogs, which is what I originally wanted to get. Um, but when I saw this fella, I just fell in love. Absolutely beautiful. When they stretch their arms out as well, they, they look, the size of their arms, you don't think they're that big, do you? Absolutely beautiful. Oh, we also bought for two quid an introduction to rearing cockroaches just to see if there's um, any information here that I don't know or if there's any additional information or just to have a good read. Probably on my work breaks to be fair. But that's good. Bit of information. Showing you how to tell the difference between male and female. I don't know what species that is, but there we go. So that was the entomological show down in, well, up in Newark to us, and the Don Doncaster Racecourse at IHS Reptile Show, or Donington, I should say. But wow, what? I'm still, like I said, I'm still buzzing. It's been such an amazing day. Um, if you like the video, remember to drop a like. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscription button because we have got so much coming out this year. Um, the next video coming up is going to be setting up for the Lobata uh, Mantis and setting up the enclosure that's in here. Um, I'm pretty looking forward to doing that. Um, so that video is going to be out this Thursday. Um, which kind of gives you guys the chance to have a look at the, the small man in down enclosure to see how easy it is to set up or not, as the case may be. Um, but yeah, so we're looking forward to doing that one, um, which would be pretty cool. But that's this Thursday, so get your notifications turned on for that. That will be another premiere as well, where you guys can obviously chat along. I'll be in the comments as well. Um, but again, a massive thank you to everybody that come over and said hello. Everybody from YouTube and all the guys from TikTok we had an absolutely epic, epic day. 
But thank you so, so much for watching. And as always, we shall see you again on the next one.